Lemon Amiga present. A play giant video review. Sit back and enjoy the show. to another special Lemon Amiga Play Guide and Review. This time we'll be checking out a public domain title, it's Hydrosis. Copyright All Those Bits by Sebastian Winkle, and this is version 1.9. So the start of the game gives us a very basic introduction, and what we can do is check out those help pages. What kind of help do you need? Well, in the basic help it tells us that we can place down some barriers, to stop some water flowing around and then the advanced help it tells us about the pumps which pump that around and also the water bombs which will be important from level 3. 1.9 full version is the one I'm playing at the moment and clicking on the play button takes us on to the game itself and at this stage you might realise that the game does not come with any music or any sound effects whatsoever. At the start of the game, we'll get a pile of water piling up on the top of that screen and eventually the dam will burst and all that water will come flowing down. And you can see that there are some barriers in the way to that water and we'll have to deal with those barriers in order to get the water to where it's supposed to go. In this case, there is a line which marks the way at the very bottom of that screen. To help us, we have a number of blockers, and we can place those blockers in strategic points, and that will stop the water from flowing down. And that's a good idea because we've just activated the mechanism to make that flow down into the lower compartment. Unfortunately, we forgot to trigger the one to the side that you can see, and that allows the water to go down to the destination. So, I've messed up this level, what can you do? Well, you press exit, and you press play again, and you try that level all over again. And on this level, you can see that we have three blockers, and the green thing with a cross next to it means that we can remove one of those blockers, should we get one of those in the wrong place, or sometimes you need to strategically remove them in order to get through the level. This time, let's place a blocker to the right side of that handle and that may or may not work. I'm trying different things here so that I can get that water to flow to the side and then hopefully maybe block the side off as soon as enough water falls into my trap. You can see there are maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of individual water droplets emulated in real time in this game and it runs on a triple O processor. Yes, if you run this on anything faster than a Motorola 68000 CPU, the thing will run miles, miles, miles too quickly. So now let's get ready, let's block off the area as quickly as we can somewhere around the top and that means that we can do that, we can now remove that one and hopefully it will mean now we can get that water down to its destination. This definitely is a trial and error game and I'll be cutting out many of the errors and most of the trials that I had to go through during this playthrough. And it looks like I messed that up again so of course you can restart the level at any point and having restarted the level with a better idea it gives us some inspiration to carry on. You can see at the moment this screen is practically drawn in deep paint and it's not an amazing heads up display either. You can see plus and minus speed and so you can speed up the water 
Not that I definitely recommend doing that. And as I say, with that specifically used, the water is too quick anyway. So I'm having to play this on a downgraded Amiga 500 setup with absolutely everything on stock. This will be a guide to some of the earlier levels and we'll be covering some of the later ones as well. And at this stage, trying to get off level 1 isn't particularly easy, so let's try that again. And we've got that working, and the valve, whatever it might be, is now working. It's now opening and closing, but unfortunately we didn't leave enough water in there, or trap enough water in there, to keep that there permanently. And um, maybe it's very much looking like, now at this stage, I've messed that level up all over again. So you can retry these levels an infinite amount of time, and when you click on the exit, it will give us the password for each and every level. And all you need to do is to write that down, and then you can return to that level every single time you return to your computer. And I have got far with this game, believe it or not, can ignore these tries, I've definitely got far with the game. Unfortunately, coming back to this in 2021, I've already forgotten how I'm supposed to do it. So, this is my failed attempt. Hopefully, one of these will be a good try. And um, so, let's try different things in order to force that water where we want it to go. And maybe if the water can rise above there. Well, maybe not. I think I've changed my mind already. So it is a kind of game where you have to make up something on the fly. And if it works, fantastic. And if it doesn't, it won't. And it's definitely one that you have to get into the mindset of water. And the review that I wrote on the Lemon Amiga website, hopefully if you click on this game, Hydrosis, Spelt with a C, I'm not quite sure if that's how you really spell it, but Hydrosis, I wrote a review, and there I give away some playing tips, which I'm basically showing you at the moment, and that's to get into the mind of water, and where it's going to flow, where it's going to back up, where it's going to accumulate, and water is liquid. This is kind of a lemmings game, but you're dealing with liquid here, so that means that you're going to have to really think out of the box. So we only have a number of blockers available and we can't make them climb steps and drill holes in the landscape. And we can't make them wield guns either, like worms. But what we can do, hopefully, is once enough drops have fallen into this trap, we can then release this barrier and then quickly put one back again while that thing is raised up and whilst that thing is raised up about here, then hopefully now, fingers crossed, we now have enough water droplets now to make it towards that exit. Another thing that you'll definitely have to rely on in this game is patience because with the triple O it does take time and yes you can bump up the speed of the water at the stage which might be a good idea and you can see some few water droplets still on the top roll as well they will definitely be useful later on you can see each individual droplet will fall and that will act at random given gravity and a number of other operations that will bounce around and make its way down to that bottom of the screen and will also collect together as well, and the weight of water definitely will make a difference on later levels. So I'm just trying to speed that thing up. I think the red board denotes how fast that we can go, and maybe not, not quite sure, but we can speed up that water. We're on level one at the moment, and as soon as the water reaches the level that we require, we'll gain a fish. There is no jingle at the end of the level, but we will get a happy fish swimming around very happily 
goldfish swimming around and it doesn't give us any indication that we've completed it but yes it's a different level code now level two kind problem small problem whatever that means so let's play it let's check that out and that is in the shape of a what i like to call a toilet and p you can also press pause at any point to study exactly what you're supposed to do so in this lavatory level we get the problem of a pump in the middle and what the pump usually does on a lavatory is to fill that thing up to the top and in this case we'll need to use the overflow in order to fill up the bowl and the aim of this level is to fill up that bowl Let's speed up that footage so you can see this rocking and rolling at high speed and hopefully get through many of my mistakes because yes, this did take ages and it is trial and error. So if you like those brain boxing, boggling trial and error games where you really do have to think differently, then maybe this one is for you. So I'm trying to speed this up, but unfortunately the pump is pumping the water backwards and it will only do that to the pressure of the water on the other side. So you have to place those markers at a strategic point on top of that and that means the pump will either pump the water to the left or to the right and you can see some water is down below us, what will that do? Well that comes in handy a bit later on because once we trigger this switch we'll then have to block the water as it runs through the valve and look at that completely too late and that means that we could have completed this level but unfortunately I didn't make it in that time so you can see let's fast forward through it you can see this level is based on a circuit board and VLSI silicon graphics workstation chip are all in there. The Amiga was based on, I think, four VLSI chips from a workstation which they put together and put down into the custom chipset which is Agnes, Gary, Denise, Denise and Paula. Let's try again, and I think it's important to get just a bit of water to flow over to the left. So hopefully once the weight of the water is built up, and it's moving like ice cubes at the moment, but eventually it will move. And now around here, I'm going to block that off, and hopefully there is enough water accumulated to stop that, to trigger that valve at the bottom, and that will do a very special thing. Yes, you can see it's joined up in red to the pump. And what will that do? Well, that will release all the water in the tank and that will release it into the toilet bowl. So that's what we need to do. We've got enough to stop the valve. So as soon as it hits the top valve, you can see, hopefully, fast forwarding that footage, as soon as it hits it, maybe it's gonna work, fingers crossed. And yes, there it is, the top valve has activated the bottom one and it's got just enough liquid in there to float. That floats up and it means all of the water that was accumulated in the tank is now going into the bowl. You can also see the spinning wheel of the pump going around as well, that's pumping the water out and hopefully once we've got enough to bring that toilet bowl we can then flush it and the fish will appear. And when it does it runs off the screen software failure, press left mouse button to continue. You might notice fish is out of the pool and that is a joke on behalf of the programmer. Yes, it's meant to do that. The fish is meant to break out. Ha 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 ha. 
Um, so we'll move on to level three. And those are all written in German, of course, because this is a German programmer. So let's move on to level three. We've made it through the introductory levels and we're beginning to think like water now. But it's not so straightforward because on level three, you get those cubes with an arrow pointing towards the fuse. Yes, those are water bombs. And as soon as one droplet of water hits the fuse, that will blow up and it will send a water bomb around the screen. There are two water bombs on this level. You have to trigger them both. And you can see just by the side of the lower one, there is the marker which marks the end of the level. So hopefully all we have to do is to release this valve that will pour the water out. And in order to do that, we'll have to trigger the water bomb. And in order to do that, we'll have to wait for one droplet to fall off the edge. And once it's fallen off the edge, we can trigger it. And so it looks like I completely messed that up. Let's try that again. Sometimes you can definitely rescue levels in the jaws of defeat. And sometimes just by hanging around, you can figure out what you're supposed to do and realize that if only you took that away or put that there, it would make all the difference. So let's try it to get that thing triggered off again. One more drop will make it flow over the edge and trigger that bomb. So let's watch that final drop fall in real time as it falls over. And of course you have to get ready with your blocker because as soon as that thing goes, you'll have to get ready to block the valve at the top. Just to make that job a bit easier, I'm going to put a blocker here so that all of the next ones are guaranteed to go in the right direction, hopefully. And eventually they'll get the idea. Of course, magnetism and things like that, I've no idea what these things are relying on, but they will draw towards blockers. And we'll take those, then they'll bounce off and go to the other side. Luckily, they won't dry up like water. They will still remain as droplets all the way to the end of that level. So hopefully now we've built up, let's watch that in real time in action. Here it comes, it's a droplet. And we've got it. That means that the valve is working. That means eventually all of the water that we've got in this tank will flow into the bottom area. That will complete the level. Um, it's not easy. I definitely tried trial and error there to use those three markers in the best place. I didn't really have to use the final marker, but I decided to do that in order to force that issue and forcing droplets of water to trigger things in this game is fun. And it's also very fun and relaxing when you know you've completed the level and you're just hanging around, taking a deep breath, waiting for that fish. On to level four of this challenge, and you might be surprised to know that this game was given away as a shareware title, or at least the first eight levels were given away, and you can download the first eight levels, I think, on the Aminet. And I managed to find the full game, it was, I think, uploaded to the EAB file server a couple of years ago, and that contains 33 levels. It's very difficult to find and it comes in German and English as well. I think the German version is definitely the one that is the more common. And this game was originally written in German by a German. And of course, 1996, there was a big public domain scene in Germany with the Amiga. And it was definitely moving towards Poland after that, 97, 98, 99. And then after 2000, basically had to rely on bedroom coders and people all over the world producing Amiga games. And it's only just got back up to scratch these days with the quality of these games. And at this stage, you might think that this game is particularly bland and boring. It doesn't come with any music whatsoever. Zero sound effects. 
all of the levels were drawn on the paint, it looks like, with a gradient fill. And even though those are bright and colourful, of course they only use some of the 16 colours available that most bedroom coaches were aware of back in the day. So they used the very minimum, bare basic requirements and I guess most of the hard work in this game was to figure out the maths involved to get the flow of water going and the motion of water and the laws of motion of water and things like that. So on this particular level, you can see we're trying to speed that thing up and you can see a pump as well, which is pumping it down to the valve below and having got through that pump, then you can release the water and hopefully enough of it would go in around the valves to flow to the bottom of that screen. You can see the very first blocker that I put up on that screen in the top corner is vital because if you get that too far away from the gap then the water will simply flow through it. That's the one that I've just removed at the moment. And if you get that too close to the other edge then too much water will flow across to the first valve that you can see and that means that too much water means that sometimes you can't even complete the level. But it looks like that we have got enough drops flowing on the screen. And it looks like, to my mind, we have figured it out. We have just about got this thing worked out. And because this thing's running in real time, that's definitely a clue that maybe I've actually cracked it. And the middle valve has only just got enough water in there, so it's only just opened a bit. So that's not too great, but the top valve, you can see, is overflowing with water. If that overflows, it will go down to, we can see that single drop is floating around. That will drop down to a pump, which will drop it all the way back to the top. And that will go around in a circular motion, so you definitely don't want to do that. And I don't think you get any score in this game. The score is definitely the pride and joy of getting further with it. And definitely waiting for this water to fall using water pressure is unique to this title. And I haven't seen anything remotely like this title on any other platform ever. So just like Ants, only Amiga makes it possible and instead of controlling a hundred ounce, we're now controlling maybe a thousand drops of water. We're now getting towards the end of that level, there's that fish. And that's level 4 completed out of the 8 on the shareware version. And it's pretty difficult to get hold of the full version if in fact you can if in fact you can get hold of it at all. So level 5 introduces us to another mechanic. That's these button switches. And these button switches will construct a barrier across the path of the water. And it's your job to make the water flow in the correct position. So this is definitely the first time I've seen it this year and I can't remember how to complete it. So it would seem to me that you have to open this valve first of all and then quickly make the water rush away because any water that's wasted or trapped is wasted and none of that will be able to make its way down to the bottom of the level. And you can see in German, drunk, dwarf, or whatever that says. I think that says push button. I'm not quite sure, but these are push buttons. So the objective, as you can see, if we open up those pathways, then the water will drop. So I'm getting ready and experimenting with that mechanic. And unfortunately, most of the water has managed to pour in to that tank and none of it into the bucket at the bottom. It definitely helps if you can step away from the computer, maybe for a few days, come back to this a few days after, 
then try it again because sometimes you might get some inspiration or you might get some patience which is nine tenths of the law when it comes to this type of game it's a puzzle game it's a strategy kind of a puzzle game and if you can get your head around some of these things then you stand half a chance and if you waste water like this well you don't stand any chance at all so water saving tips definitely if you have a lavatory check the toilet and make sure that it's not overflowing out of the overflow pipe because I did that and guess what my water bill my water account used to be 15 pounds a month 15 pounds a month but because this month my lavatory was overflowing because of the system the bowl that floats on top of the water was in the wrong position it meant it was overflowing and my bill went up to 30 pounds a month ladies and gentlemen on my water bill because they said I'd spent that amount of money that's dead money because that just flowed down the overflow pipe and out into the drainage system so I'm having to pay 30 pounds a month for water at the moment so that's a problem definitely if you have a lavatory check it and uh, my toilet tank is now half full which means it should consume a lot less water per flush and that might mean that you have to use a bit more of the toilet brush to keep it cleaner but so what it means you have to substitute manual work for cash and in my book that's always a good move because i've got very little of the latter so let's use a bit more lateral thinking let's pile this water up on the top of the screen and hopefully if we can compartmentalize this into its own bracket then it should mean that not too much of it ends up in that waste water tank and we don't end up wasting it a few more water tips definitely if you are washing the dishes usually it's better to leave those to soak in the water and then it saves you running two bowls and if you want to obviously rinse them then rinsing them under a tap is a lot more economical than using dishwasher and of course check your taps make sure they're not leaking water all over the place and if you've got a leaking tap then that's literally money down the drain so if you want to save money on your bills definitely saving money on your water bill is a number one priority and if you can economize and maybe even collect rainwater to water the plants and that kind of thing not that you can do that in the uk because it's illegal but usually if you're in a place where it doesn't put the law against everything else then usually you can save a bit of rainwater and that means that you can water the plants and even the dog likes drinking rainwater sometimes as well so look at this we're almost there with that level but it's not quite touching that barrier that means we've messed it up and it means that even though these last few drops are falling they're not going to make the difference we just didn't quite make it but hopefully you can see that it is possible to do this on level five and it's a massive tremendous pass on the back when you do get that right so let's skip on forward from that into a less psychedelic screen you can see happy and sad faces this is level seven and so this is again the first time i've seen it this year i can't remember how to do it but there is one valve and there is all these water pressure points which run down you can see all the way to the holding tank at the bottom so as long as we use lateral thinking then we should be able to trigger one of these water valves off just like this that pours into the second location and just like this we can then pour some water into the final one and that means that that releases the valve and that means that any water accumulated on the bottom will rush out to like this and now any water flowing in from the top will rush straight on out straight down the level and yes you can definitely see that there's too much waste water accumulated in the middle and to the left 
You definitely want a lot less than that, if possible, but you only have one blocker on this level, one single blocker, so you're going to have to make sure that, that goes into the right place and saves very much little walls. You can see in the middle now, there's barely anything at all. To the left, there is still quite a lot, but that could make all the difference to completing this level. And it's touching go at this point. Is there enough liquid left in order to complete it? And so this is level seven. We'll be using some passwords that I found during my playthroughs and some of those that are listed on the review on Lemon Amiga. Unfortunately, try as I might, I didn't complete that level. I tried my hardest, so let's put another level code in. And yes, if you're handy with those screenshots, you could probably write down the codes that I've got on this game. So let's enter another one in, and this puts us on to level 13. This is definitely in the full version. And so level 13, it gives us a lot more of those trigger switches. And I do remember completing this level, and what a joy it was when I finally got through it. You can see there is a holding tank way up in mid-air to the left. I remember if any water goes into that tank, it's wasted because it can't come out again. So that's definitely, definitely, definitely a clue to how to complete it. And pouring water in needlessly at the moment is definitely not how you complete it, but we need some of it to overflow so that we can trigger that valve you can see at the bottom and then juggling the water using this matrix we should be able to juggle that down into the right spot and we have four blockers on this level so maybe we're supposed to place those maybe in the middle of that middle column let's see if there is enough water here to trigger that valve and I've already messed this level up because you can see the spare water tank in the middle of the screen is already full. But let's see if that would have worked in practice. And let's see, yes, it's worked. So if we drop this down here, we'll get another drop of water. And that should mean some of it, at least, goes into the end. You can see not much water has to be accumulated, but you can also see by not placing those in the right place, most of the water is now hanging around on that level. So Hydrosis is definitely a thinking person's game. It's available, it came out in 1996, and so none of the magazine reviewers managed to get to review it as far as I know. And the only score that I could find online is, of course, from the Lemon Amiga website. It awarded this 73%, which means this game gets an average score, public domain title score, of 7 out of 10. This is the final level that I'm going to show you. This is level 17. This is where I managed to get up to with my final password. And yes, I've just had to go back through my book and rifle all the way through it to try to find this password. And this is how far I got with it. There's 33 levels in the game. So level 17 is virtually just over halfway through it. So I didn't get further than this. This is, well, maybe the second time I've played it because I definitely couldn't get off this screen and this is the last level that I have to get to so if you hand in those passwords and if you find the full version you can tap that in. Unfortunately look I forgot to put a blocker there and that means that the top valve isn't full of water and on this level you'll need to raise both of the valves and what I'm using is the force of the water to make it run all the way over the top, hit that fuse, and that means that this green water here can bubble into the second valve. And you can see there is just enough, if we wait for that to pour in, just enough to fit under that thing. 
and raising up the unfortunate water rays and let both of the valves to raise and then all of the water will flow into the bottom half and that completes the level. So it's not that difficult and none of these levels are that difficult. Once you know what to do, you can walk straight through them if you know how to play them, no problem at all. And I'm making this look extremely difficult but then again, this is the average playing experience of most players. So, thank you for watching this guide and review of this game. Not that many people have played it or seen it, and I definitely recommend this game. It's definitely got more than enough than I'm showing at the moment, and has bags of character. Thank you.